you've got to see Green Bay against a couple teams you've played. I mean, they've played Iowa, they've played. Does that help you scout when you're scouting against a team that maybe you know a little bit more about than maybe some normal non conference They're very talented. Uh, I like their athleticism, I like their quickness. Um, you know, they, they played Iowa a lot tougher than we did. That was at Iowa, so uh, we'll have to play well. They're a deep group, they played 10, 11, 12 guys, and uh, man to man press the full game. Uh, so we'll have to we'll have to play well. Does it give your guys kind of a better study though, and they can see? Oh, I think so. I, you know, they're gonna see film. You know, uh, we'll watch a lot of film today, and uh, they'll see a lot of uh, you know what we're talking about against Iowa, you know, against good teams. So we'll have to be prepared to play. Your opponents are shooting 30% so far through four games. No small sample size, but do you feel like your defense is showing that? Well, I think that, you know, Bowl and Kenny have done a decent job around the basket. Uh, Francis, when he's in there, has done a good job. So we've pushed people away from the basket, which has helped those numbers. But uh, our defense has a long ways to go. But uh, I think we have done some things good for this early in the season. Communication needs to be, be much better. Uh, you know, for us to make another big jump. Is that encouraging then to see where it could even get go if it's already this Oh, absolutely. No, no. I, I think that um, you know, there's a lot of growth here for this team. Um, we didn't do a good job against Iowa, you know, but we're going to have to get a lot better in our man, a lot better in our zone. But I do think there's room for uh, a lot of growth yet. and. Uh, with Bowl and, and Kenny protecting the rim, it does give us one thing a lot of teams don't have. Do you do any lineup tinkering with the two of them? Do you want to see if maybe Francis can oh, change things up there or anything like that? Or? It's way too early. I don't know. We just keep working. Practice is going to determine a lot of that. Would you take away from New York? So would you find out about your team if you didn't know going in? Uh, you know, I was really disappointed the way we prepared for Iowa. You know, our lack of energy. You know, just no excuse for that. But that falls on me as much as them. And, uh, you know, I thought they did a good job getting themselves ready. Uh, got together and as a team collectively, we're much, much more energetic the whole day. You know, and got ready for that game. So, you know, I hope they learned something there. Um, other than that, you know, we. We kind of knew what we had. We knew that we had a long ways to go. Um, we were hoping that we could play with a lot more energy than we did against Iowa, but for whatever reason, there, it wasn't there. And you know, I just hope our guys learn something from that. Will and Peyton seem to play really well together in Syracuse. Now that Will is being able to play a little bit more, you think that's a, a combination you might use more often, them both on the field? You know, I don't know. Uh, I think this early it'll be game to game. You know, we'll see how. Uh, the team evolves, but uh, you know we we do need to get Peyton some more shots because his numbers in practice and, and even going back to last year, you know when the guy shoots 42, 43 percent from three and he's shooting better than that in practice. You know we, we need to get him more shots. Maybe Will can help us do that. But uh, uh, you know it, like I said, it'll be game to game here for a while. You know, we still have to watch Will's foot. And, you know, we're going to see how other guys come along. Victor and Abu seem like they're kind of settling in to figuring out what you need from them. Well, they did, they did some good things. And, uh, you know, on the year, Abu's got our best assist to turnover ratio right now. So I'm encouraged by that. You know, he's got his turnovers down. Uh, VJ had a couple chances to make some big plays there, not against Syracuse, and didn't pass the ball real well. So I think he needs to really work on that. But those two are giving us good minutes, you know, and, and uh, you know, there's a lot of growth there yet for those two sophomores also. How would you address the team's ball movement and how they've taken care of the basketball to this point? So-so, <laughs> you, know, uh, you know, we had some games where, you know, our turnovers in Syracuse, you know, those turnovers led to 27 points. You know, you give up 65 and 27 off your turnovers. Obviously, that's a stat you have to address. Uh, you know, at times we've moved the, the ball really well. I haven't, really, we haven't taken that many bad shots, but the ball just doesn't move like it needs to, and we haven't made defenses adjust quick enough. So it's got to improve a lot, but I, I think it's there. I think the guys will move the ball. Uh, i got to do a better job of letting them know what it should look like.
but I, I think we're making progress. Let's go, let's go this way. That's one of those three guys you, you signed today, out of the, the two guys, Duarte and... Oh, really excited. Very, very excited. Uh, Chris, uh, someone who really versatile. You know, I mean, he can play a number of spots for us. Tough, wants to be a player. Really impressed with what he's done at, at Northwest, uh, Florida. And uh, you know, I think he can really grow into a really good player for us. He's very talented. He's got a great work ethic, wants to be a player. You know, Elgin Cook came from Northwest and uh, had a great career for us. And, and we're hoping Chris, uh, with his versatility, can, can do a lot of things for us. Uh, Isaac uh, is a young man who grew up in Oregon. Uh, his family lived in uh, Nyssa for uh, 14 years, and, and he lived in Roseburg for two uh, when he was real young. And uh, so, you know, he's, uh, his family loved Oregon. They loved Utah, but they loved Oregon also. And, and uh, I think Isaac, uh, I know it's a couple years away, but I, I saw him this summer and uh, just, just fell in love with his game. He's a, he's a really good fit for what the way we play and what we do. He's very mobile for 6'11". Uh, versatile, can shoot the three, uh, really good instincts passing the ball, uh, tough, rugged, you know, he's he's a good fit for anybody, but he's a really good fit for us. And then uh, the last person who committed to us was Chandler Lawson, and uh, saw Chandler at Oak Hill and saw him this last summer. Uh, love his ability to, to go get the ball. He's a you know, tireless worker, getting the ball, rebounder. Uh, his skill level continues to get better. His dad's a high school coach. And he just continues to improve his skill level all the time. He shoots the three. Uh, he's going to continue to get better putting it on the floor. So, you know, I like his versatility as a, as a power forward. That's someone who can, and he's really long. You know, I think he can defend a lot of positions because of his length. So, very excited about those three guys. Uh, you know, even though Isaac won't be here for a couple years, uh, um, you know, I, I think all three of them are a great fit for, for our program. And uh, you know, we, we've had such good success with our junior college players, Chris Boucher, Elgin, uh, you know, Jaleel. You know, we've just uh, really have had a good, and I think Chris you know, will give us that same type of performance. You had much experience with a guy who takes a two year, and is that putting some trust into him that he's going to come back? No, I haven't. Uh, but uh -huh. I, I think he'll be here. You know, he's a great family. Darren and Emily, his parents, uh, have been so good to work with. Uh, you know, and all I can say is uh, his older brother Spencer made a commitment to Weber, and, and he fulfilled that. And uh, you know, I think as long as they see the same things going on in our program as, as what we have now. I don't think there'll be any hesitation. As I mentioned, I, I think he's a great fit. I feel like the family and Isaac feel like we're a great fit for him. So I don't see it changing, uh, but I know we're not going to change our mind. Uh, we're not going to change ours. He's, uh, he's a talented young man who's a great fit for our program. You mentioned Chris's versatility. Is he a lot like? Uh, Elgin, where he can play two, three, four different positions for you? Well, he can play a number of spots. He's, he's a different player than Elgin. Uh, uh, you know, a little bit more skilled coming in. Uh, but they're, I, because of his size, he does give us great versatility. Uh, and he's pretty skilled. He's continuing to work on his ball skills, continuing to work on his three. Um, you know, in 6'5", six, 6'6", six, six, that, that's very valuable. That's are you done then for, for this period? Are you, is there oh, you're never done. I, you're, you're hoping. Uh, you know, we we still got a few days left and to see what happens, and uh, you know, then we'll we'll go into the spring. But uh, you know, we still got a couple days here. If, if something does break, if not, we'll uh, see what happens in the spring. All right. Thanks, Thanks,